Today is March 21st. I believe this is like the seventh day of the quarantine stuff. So, yay. Um, I'm going up Muscle Holler. I got to take out some stress. Uh, like I've mentioned previously, most people, a lot of people stress eat. I stress work out. Um, and so, my body's too beat up to actually lift weights. So, I'm going to go chop. Uh, to me, chopping. Uh, and doing all the physical work that I do in conjunction around my farm while I'm setting up logs and, and doing all that kind of crap is actually great active recovery uh, for my lifting sessions. Um, and so that's the concept for me anyway. Um, I know I'm very blessed to be able to have something like this to be able to go to uh, and to do in addition to the weights and stuff I have in my garage. Um, so. My office is closed now, officially the building shut down, and so I'm going to have to work from home, which it is what it is, and I have to deal with it. Hopefully this will not be for a prolonged period of time, and all of us maintain our sanity and we don't lose social order. Um, and hopefully no one that's important to me or in, 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 in any of you who may watch this, you, uh, hopefully none of them get sick or drastically sick. And, severely sick you know this is shit's real and we have to respect it and move on but that doesn't mean that we have to cease being who we are and what we are and even though i can't go to australia even though webster is officially canceled for may we are looking to reschedule it in either mid-august or labor day weekend and so i'm going to meet with the board of directors or teleconference with the board of directors and see what we can do about um, setting a later date for Webster so that we don't lose the event. We've already gotten in half of our sponsorship money and the other half we're holding out because they don't know if it's actually going to take place. And we want to run it because it's we've already paid our insurance premium for the year, which is ten grand. I mean, for a three-day event, we pay $10,000 in, in uh, for our CGL policy. So we have to We'll lose that basically if we don't host, have the actual festival. Uh, but there's a bunch, bunch of other expenses that we've already gone to. Uh, we purchased the wood for the chopping events, and um, I have already got the sawing wood on the ground. Then I just got to wrestle it out and bring it up to we can turn it over the lathe. So there's been a substantial investment, and we're looking to try and maintain the happiness with the sponsor of the community and everyone and be in compliance with what is in the best interest of everyone involved. Uh, so right now it's about sanity and uh, I'm going to work on master my week events which include the springboard and the stock saw but that doesn't mean I'm not going to chop because I love chopping and right now I don't have a hot saw to run so um, it's at, uh, getting worked on and assembled. So. Uh, hopefully by the time we actually have an event, I'll have a hot saw and uh, I can train with it too. But that's it. That big freaking tool to put her up. Freaking thing has to weigh at least six, seven, eight hundred pounds. Talon helped me get it up, and whoo, it was all we had. But that's an 11 inch log on top of it. I'm going to use that uh, woolly butt axe because the tree's kind of knotty, so it doesn't cut the log on top that great, but it will cut the pole decently. So, uh, see what happens. Making pockets on big trees is not easy.
in that if you always do what you've always done, you will always get what you always got. And if you can't tell by looking at me, I'm a firm believer in listening to people and being coachable. And I uh, got some great advice from Lawrence O'Toole and Chris Sakura. And I'm going to try and implement it with my stock saw because I suck. But I, but I want to own it. I got time now since I'm not going anywhere for the next freaking three weeks. Um, and likely won't be doing any competing for at least 12 weeks. So let's master this. Let's kick it to <laughs> poplar and I'm using one of my freaking hardwood trainers so I don't ex have high expectations but I think it's pretty decent wood uh, tulip poplar cuts about like woolly butt um, use the same axe in it too uh, however you want a thinner edge if you really want to cut tulip poplar well um, and so this will be I don't know if I can cut this under 26 hits I think that's doing pretty well with this axe Got a little gritty in the back of that, but I don't know why it wouldn't come off. But again, tulip poplar is like woolly bud. It's a hardwood technically. Anytime you try to punch a lot of wood in it, and that there was probably two inches there that I was trying to drive. And anytime you try and drive tulip, I don't care how good it is, you're going to regret it. And I probably needed two more up instead of that just that one up. It would have came right off in three, which would have saved me three hits total which would have put me where I wanted to be, which is 25 hits. So I flopped that log over 39 inches. I'm going to repeat it, see what happens, see if I learn anything from that experience. of Pennsylvania has entered a state of emergency and has eliminated all non-essential travel and even though this 13-inch tulip poplar underhand is essential to me I don't know the next time I'll be back here so uh, it's possible the governor of West Virginia will do the same um, yeah this sucks but uh, I'm going to use my my decent woolly butt axe on this 13-inch tulip poplar this thing's 41 inches it's a full 13 so, uh, given that it was taking me 28 and 29 hits to cut that 39 inch one uh, with a real hardwood axe, I would say I'll be lucky to cut this in 20, 30, 30 hits, 15 and 15 would be fair. And as long as I'm moving well, I should cut it in 25 or 26 seconds.
Help. Help. Shit. <laughs> so, these logs, I just figured out, they're dry as shit in the center. And so, you know, this is the front. That was 13 hits. And I thought I was at the center, and I was, you know, by looking at it. However, it's like the axe just stops traveling in the heartwood. And that's because it's dry. And when it's like that, you gotta cut every inch of it. Otherwise, you're pounding and pounding and pounding and pounding, which is what I was doing there. Same in the standing. So, I got the other side of this 13. I'll cut it in the block, assuming I get it come out again. And uh, I will cut that motherfucker in 15 and 15. It is official, 7 p.m. tonight, Governor Justice is announcing a shelter in place, which basically means absolutely non-essential travel is eliminated until further notice. We'll be arrested on site, yada, 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 yada. I still argue that I need to check on my second household.